everyone. So we are on an adventure. My video should be uploaded today. I just have to finish this little adventure and then we're gonna go and edit the video. But today, as I'm driving out of my driveway, we are gonna go have fun. It is still cloudy, but I see blue sky. So hopefully there'll be no rain. I will be headed to the library to return some items as well as, let's see, we're going to get some books that I ordered and I will share those as soon as I get them. And then I'm going to the craft store because I have to get some uh, some yarn for a crochet project. I have not crocheted a lot in a while. I'm working on a bag for my TBR game at the end of the month, but I also want to work on a couple other things. So I need to go find a color that I want. And then hopefully if the weather is still good, we will go visit some a little free libraries. So I want to do that first actually, because there is a little free library, which has not been out since winter, so I'm hoping that it's out by now. So we're gonna visit that first and then the library, and then I'll go down to a town about half an hour away from me, and we'll go visit some little free libraries in there. So let's go ahead and have a good time. I just got out of the library and I got a stack of books more than I planned on <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what I got so first thing that I got was I got the Emperor's New Groove on DVD because it's one of my favorite movies and I just really wanted to watch it okay only movie that I got next one that was not on my list to get today was the Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier and I just finished the I just finished Sweep by the same author, and I really wanted to pick up another one. So hopefully I'll have time to read it this month. If I don't, I can renew it and read it the following month. So I got that one. Let's see, I got the second book in the Code Breakers trilogy by Rosanna M. White. This one's called On Wings of Devotion. I ordered uh, Gone Crazy in Alabama by Rita Williams Garcia. Uh, this is the third book in the Gaither Sisters trilogy. So once I'm done with this, I would have read the entire series. And the next one that I got was the first in the... What series is this? I'm not sure what series this is called, but this is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. So I'm excited to try that one out. I got way too many out. And then I got a graphic novel. I got Zeta the Space Girl by Ben Hatka. And the only reason I got this was because I'm part of the A to Z book challenge as well as everything else. <laughs> but um, I was going to read The Zookeeper's Wife, which I still plan on reading later on this year. But I thought I'll just get my Z out of the way and read a short middle grade graphic novel. It's Gotham High by Melissa De La Cruz. And so this is kind of, I guess, a Batman. Yeah, kind of Bruce Wayne when he was in during the, his high school era. So the artwork's kind of nice. So I'll see if I like it. If I don't, then I don't have to worry about finishing it. All right, next up, 
I got two books from a very far away. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how far away. Let's find out. Let's see. I had to take off the uh, purple slip because it has my name on it and stuff. But this one came from a Syracuse, New York. So this is a, um, I can get rid of the, oh, there's a bookmark. <laughs> um, anyways, so this is Swan Song by Elizabeth B. Esplain. And I got this one. Well, the cover's gorgeous. Oops, trying to show it off. <laughs> um, but this is a indie published book. And so I needed one for a challenge. And it just sounds so good. It's about an opera, operatic star during the rise of 1933 Nazi Berlin. Um, she discovers that she is part Jewish. So it sounds really good. And I believe, yeah, she um, she meets the Fuhrer's British nephew and the pair become engaged. So it sounds really good. Um, the lettering's really tiny though. Wow. Okay, that's going to take me a long time to read. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got this one and I actually have this one out. It just depends on the book. I, I have this one out until July. So if I don't have time to read it this month, I have plenty of time to read it. <laughs> and then the other um, until I bring loan that I got was, um, I got this one out before, but I didn't have time to finish it because we were going on vacation, but let's see, get rid of those receipts. This one, this one I only have until the middle of April, so I better hurry up and read it, but it is Orion Lost by Alistair Chis Chisholm, Chisholm, um, but I've been wanting to read this one for a while now, and I don't think it's part of a series, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I finally rechecked it out. It's probably from the same library. It says Lawrence Public Library. I don't know where that is. But yeah, so I've been wanting to read this one. Uh, it's a sci-fi book, I believe. But I'm, I'm intrigued. Space Pirates, Mysterious Aliens, Alien Species, and an Artificial Intelligence. So sounds really good. I've heard good things about this one. So I got that one. And then the last book that I was not planning on getting... I found this on the new fiction shelf in the middle grade section, and it's not new middle grade. It's been out for a couple years. I looked at the public publishing date, but it is a Adventures in Odyssey from Focus on the Family Presents Young Wit and the Shroud of Secrecy. So if you know about Adventures in Odyssey, this is about Jonathan Whitaker, who he owns the chocolate shop there, and I am a huge fan of Adventures in Odyssey. It's a great radio program. They You can actually listen to them through their website. I think they have like a monthly subscription. But I think you can get like one month free. I couldn't find any more at my library. I'm, let's find out if it's a series. Ooh, that map's really pretty. Um, let's see if it's part of a series. It doesn't say. If it is though, I'm going to find out and I'm getting them all. That's all I know. I'm getting them all. Because I know I'm probably going to really enjoy this one. Okay, so that is all the stuff that I got at the library. Um, as, I, as I forgot to mention, the little library that I was planning on going to is not back up yet. Due to winter, it's finally warming up. It's hot in the car. It's like 60 degrees outside, but I'm planning on still going to Joanne's. So if you want to join me on that adventure, we'll go ahead and show you that next. And it looks really, really cloudy, like it's going to storm any minute. So I am not visiting the other free libraries, unfortunately, but... We will still go visit Joanne's. that I like. It's a really pretty like kind of like almost like a purple lavender color so this is really pretty and I had a 40% 40, 40 off coupon. I wish I had more but at least I did that. Um, weather's holding but it is getting a lot more windy 
and a lot more cloudy. It was like clear here, so we can try to hit up a few little libraries before it rains. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's try. We'll try. And if it starts to rain, then I'll just let you guys know. Oops. <laughs> okay, so let's try to hit some little free libraries next. So I decided to stop by another town's uh, town library while I was looking for little free libraries because sometimes they have a good selection for books that are on sale. So, uh, you know, I shouldn't buy any more books, but here we are. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in and check to see what they have on sale. I did end up finding one book there. I bought A Woman Is No Man by uh, Etef Room, and I have never read this book, but I have been wanting to read it for a while now, and it's pretty much in a like, new condition. So it was only a dollar, and I grabbed it. So I got this one from the regular library. Now I'm gonna hit up a couple extra little free libraries in the area. It's very windy, but it has not rained yet. So I've visited I visited three. One was completely gone, so I don't know if it's being repaired or not. And then the other one, I didn't see anything, so I didn't film. So let's go ahead and visit a couple more. All right, last little free library of the day, and this is usually my favorite one. Like, in this area, there's almost always something that like I would literally love to grab. Hmm. Forlorn. I didn't see anything in this one. Oh, what's this one? I've heard of Kendra Elliott before. What's this one? That doesn't look like something that I would enjoy, but uh, this one maybe. I believe this is a Christian author. No, I guess not. Hmm. Sounds good. This one's 
good. Okay, I might grab that one. So I will put in this one, I guess. No, I'll do this one. Since this looks more like middle grade and YA, I will put this one in. And I will grab this one. This one looks good though. All right, so I'll grab this. <laughs> All right, so this little free library has two now. Like two, they never had a two before. Like, this is insane. Oops. The window kind of flew out at me. Yeah, this is insane that they have two now. Like, they had so many books and now they need two. You can hear dogs barking in the background. <laughs> okay. I don't see any yet that I would want. Kind of hard to hold books and look at the same time. <laughs> yeah, put those down there for now. High achiever. Mm, I don't really see anything there. Okay, on the top shelf, if I can film while holding books. <laughs> Oh, I already have that one. The last thing he told me. If I didn't have that one, I probably would have grabbed it. Alright. Uh... Alright, so my little free library trip was a pretty good success, I would say. Um, so the ones that I got, I did decide to get Home is Where You Are by Melissa Grace. Um, I'm hoping it's a cleaner romance, but if it's not, I can always give it to a free little library. Uh, let's see. And then I got two from the last one, which surprised me that now they have two libraries. Like, I noticed the last time I came here a couple months ago, like, they were getting quite full. So, I guess now they have two right next to each other. So, I got Vanished by Kendra Elliott. And I've heard of her. I thought she was a Christian author, but I don't believe she is. But it sounds good, so I decided to grab it. And the last one that I got was When Life Gives You a Lululemons by Lauren Weisberger. So that I will try this one. But if not, then I can always return it to another little free library. So that was my haul today. And um, I will finish up the video at home.